big day here, folks. Uh, two and a half weeks ago, as you can tell by the title of this video, I bought my first ever YouTube, real YouTube investment project car. Um, and obviously I'm doing it for myself too, but I think it's gonna really help grow the channel. So um, I've been looking around, I've been thinking about different options. Um, there were a couple Audis on the table, there were a couple Volkswagens on the table, there, there were really like a bunch of things that I was thinking about. And uh, I don't think I was quite ready to, to move, but this car came up uh, and it presented a pretty unique opportunity. You'll see why, it's got a little bit of a, a hidden secret. Um, if, unless I use it in the title, then it's not a hidden secret. But uh, it's got a little bit of a hidden secret that made me move a little faster than uh, I otherwise was planning to. So uh, we're going to pick up Palin right now. And then we're gonna go pick up the car, which is very exciting. Here we go. Big moment here, big moment. That's not it. That's not it. Are you ready? There she is. I will explain more when we get in the car, but very exciting. The audio quality in here is gonna be horrible, but it's exciting. It's like the old days, man. There they are. Yeah, I don't think I had the mic on in the car, but Palin's here with me to pick the car up. Very thankful for that. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys were expecting this at all. But here she is. It's a 2010 Volkswagen GTI. It is a, uh, a four-door. We'll get rid of these stickers, don't worry. And... That's right, boys, we're back in a manual. Um, it, it does have a little bit of a hidden surprise. And that is that this car has a built motor and a GT3071 on it. it. It's very much stock appearance, except for, if you notice in here, we've got some sticky boys. These are the RE71Rs. Um, and they're pretty much smoked, but that's okay. So this car is an ATP turbo kit. It's a stage three kit. It's got a GT3071 on it. Fully built motor. We'll go over the specs in a little bit. But uh, it does not have a fuel system. It only has the injectors from, uh, I believe, a Cobalt SS. Um, so it only makes 360 wheel horsepower right now. But the built motor can handle a lot more than that. So uh, not to give away too much of the future plans, but this car does have the potential to make a lot more power and not worry about the rods or the head or anything because it's got, you know, built bottom end, built top end. Let's go for our first little, uh, first little rip ski in the car. Get the camera set up. Unfortunately, due to all these delays, uh, it'll be at nighttime, so I'm not sure how much you'll be able to see, but we're going to take it for a rip anyway and see what's what. By the way, I bought this sight unseen. My buddy Michael picked it up. I'll tell you more about that tomorrow when we're cleaning the car up. All right, let's see what's what, though. Merge on the highway here. We got some people taking their sweet time. I gotta figure out this driving position too. This is not where I wanna be. Oh, I. Oh, I got power! My GTI didn't have power seats. I feel rich. She's gonna hook up. There's no heat in the tires whatsoever. Yeah, so that was traction control. Oh, there's a truck pulled over here. Hang on. <laughs> Alright, 4,000 RPMs in third. Okay, so this thing rips. Um, yeah, this is, so this is 360 wheel horsepower, according to Ivan, the seller. Um, it's on 93 octane, and it doesn't have a fuel system. Fourth gear. Why not? Let's see what happens. Wow, this thing is out. That's not bad for 360 wheel. I thought it'd be a little slower. 4,000 RPMs. second gear. 40 miles an hour. That's traction control. SQ5's 
still pulling on the GTI, but it's closer than you would think it is. I'm not used to I'm not used to a big turbo car, so I'm not brake boosting. I need to be brake boosting. Well, here she is in the daytime. Um, you really can't tell on camera because of the polarizer, but this car's filthy. Overall, I'm just so excited to be back in the GTI, uh, and this is going to be a fun car for the channel. It's going to be a lot of content. The car is not perfect by any means, and I think that's perfect for us because we can do a lot of little things without spending a crazy amount of money. I will talk about the cost of the car and all that fun stuff in an upcoming video. Let me know if you want to see more details about that. It's going to be a fun project car and it's going to be my first kind of real investment into YouTube. I mean the SQ5 is my personal car. This is really something that I bought to make YouTube videos on. So uh, we'll see how it does um, during the day. I just realized these tires are absolutely smoked. But um, there's a lot of flaws on the car. I'll make a video on everything wrong with this car as well because there is a laundry list. Um, but we're gonna get it fixed up. I promise we'll get it looking nice. We'll get it cleaned up um, and uh, We'll get it washed first and see what it looks like after that and take these silly stickers off I don't know what the heck this said, like sport animal or something like that. Who knows? But I feel like I'm in one of those old Mark V commercials where the German guy comes on and goes, Time to unpimp the auto. Time to unpimp the auto. Stickers on paint leave fun marks. By the way, if you're new to the channel, that's my SQ5. This is my second car. Check out some videos on the SQ5 too. It's dual pulley, got big brakes, wheels, low, all that fun stuff, loud exhaust. But, uh, I pulled these two guys off. One of these is from Chicago. 0715, that expired uh, about five years ago. I don't know why that's on the car. And then uh, the old Texas inspection sticker, that's gone as well. You guys are as happy as I am to see me back in another GTI. So, there's that. There's a lot of problems with this car, and uh, yeah, there are a lot of problems with this car. We're gonna go over it, in fact, in a full video, so I'm gonna leave some of those out of this video to keep you guys coming back. Um, with that said, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing, sticking around, because uh, we're gonna be doing some fun, fun stuff with this car. Um, the car itself, if I haven't said it already, it's a 2010 Volkswagen GTI. It has a fully built motor. Uh, I will have the complete mod list in the description because uh, I bought this car. I did not build it to this point. To this point, I did not build it. Um, and so I'd rather just have you know the owner's mod list in the description. But um, some highlights, uh, like I said, fully built motor. It's got a GT 3071R on it. Uh, the old, like the oldest generation Garrett turbo that you can buy. Uh, the one that comes with, it's an ATP turbo kit. So uh, it's the ATP Stage 3 GT 3071R kit. Uh, it makes about 360 wheel horsepower and it's on RE71Rs that uh, are getting towards the end of their life, let's say. Again, we'll cover that in a later video. Um, that said, the car runs really, really well. It's got a stage three South Bend uh, endurance clutch, I believe. Yeah, a stage three, it might be a stage two. I think it's stage three though, South Bend endurance clutch. Um, stock shifter, stock suspension, uh, stock brakes. Pretty much everything stock except for the built motor. Uh, I think the next video you guys are gonna see on the car is how I actually came to find this car and how I came to buy it. Uh, and then we'll go into a little more detail of what's wrong with it. And then from there, we'll kinda roll from there. But 
If you didn't know, I started my channel with a 2008 Volkswagen GTI, moved to an Audi S4, moved to Audi SQ5, now I'm back in a 2010 Volkswagen GTI. So, uh, trying something a little bit different with the Mark 6 with a TSI motor versus the FSI motor. There's just so much to come with this car. I'm so excited. It's going to bring a lot of content opportunities this summer. Um, if the track opens back up, we will definitely be taking this to the track. We also have to take the SQ5 to the track, but obviously that's not in this video. Uh, the car is a manual. If you didn't see in the uh, little glamour shots that I put in there, the car is a manual which I'm very excited about that's what I was looking for this is going to be a fun car there is no purpose to this build this is not a drag strip car this is not a, a autocross car or whatever this is just gonna be a cool car that I build for fun um, so excited that the first steps have been taken as far as the built motor and the big turbo that saves me money the clutch obviously um, and then everything else obviously will be working with partners and uh, other people to get it done with that said that does it for the new GTI video. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for this. If you're not excited for this, please don't leave a comment. Just kidding, you can be honest. Um, and uh, we'll have some SQ5 content coming in the future, but I think for the near future, we'll be focused on GTI stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video.